Hey, I'm Mike, and this is the weekly recap for the week of June 11th to 17th. A lot more of the same this week. I was just playing Mop Remix the entire time. My addiction to it has not gone down at all. I just love playing this game mode. This week, my warrior started at 441.87, and I got him capped out at 476, so I am no longer needing to upgrade any gear. It's all done. On Wednesday, Blizzard applied that hotfix where the caches would apply, uh, give you more bronze, and spools would apply more stats to you, which I think was a fantastic change. I'm really happy that they did that, and I kind of expected them to do that later on in the, in the event, maybe closer to the end of it, to help people kind of catch up and get the last bits of stuff that they need. But the fact that they did it this soon is fantastic. So before that change, I was getting like two or three upgrades on my warrior a day. And then after that, I don't even, I think I was upgrading almost all of my gear every day. So on him, I was doing the two heroics, one for the daily quest, as well as the other one for just the first Q of the day bonus, the two scenarios, as well as one LFR wing for the raid uh, weekly or sorry, daily. And I was just getting so much bronze. And then every day I would try to do my my world boss tour to get the spools there. And yeah, just nice having them fully capped out. I think that once I got to a little bit over a level 400 is when I started to notice a change. And then every single upgrade, it just felt like I got more and more powerful. And now it's just, I'm just so strong. I take like no damage. I heal very quickly. It's just fantastic. On Sunday night, I got him to 470, and then I decided I'm close enough to max item level that I'm just going to see if I can get a Mythic Siege of Orgrimmar group going. So I started that, it filled up pretty quick, we had 2 tanks and 18 DPS, so no one was specced into healer. We did it just fine, no issues. And at this point, I think I'm done raiding, I don't really want to do that a whole lot, I don't really have any need for it. I think I need to do Siege of Orgrimmar one more time, because I need one more bone to be able to afford all the heirlooms, but other than that, I don't really need to raid. I might jump on every now and again to do the first three heroic raids because they're pretty quick and give a lot of bronze. But just through doing the dailies and leveling my alts, I'm going to have plenty of bronze to buy literally everything that I want and then some. I might use bronze for another alt to kind of go maybe a DPS spec. I'm really enjoying my hunter maybe on him. See what's going on there. I, I don't know though. I might just spend more time on retail now. I, I don't know. If my guild is doing any runs, I might jump in there. And I might, I kind of feel like I want to help some people get their mythic Siege of Orgrimmar run. So I might like maybe once a week do like a mythic carry where it's like there's 17 of us that are fully geared out. And then there's three, three, people, or, three people or so that we bring along to just carry them through. That might be fun to do. But we'll see. We'll see how that all works out and how, what I'm feeling like. And then on my other characters, on my priest, I'm running just one dungeon and one LFR wing for the daily quest for extra bronze. And then my other 70s, I'm just doing the daily raid quest through LFR and then just buying whatever I can through vendors. Speaking of alts, I got my monk to level 70 as well as my shaman, who I, I still really, really enjoy playing that shaman. So I kind of want to make them like my, my healing alt in, in the War Within. They're just really fun to play. I think he looks cool too. It's just, yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed him. So he might be... He might be the healer for, for next expansion for the for those achievements. Once I got them done, I moved over to my Alliance characters and started working on my Dwarf Hunter, who I think just runs really, really funny. It's just, I love watching him run. It's so stupid. I'm also leveling my Kul Tiran Rogue, which I really don't like the Kul Tiran. They just, I do not like the look of them, but I just need one for the Heritage Armor. I just couldn't figure out what class I wanted to make them, so I just went whatever Rogue, let's just do that. The early levels of Rogue were just brutal because I felt like I was doing no damage and just, I was always waiting on a cooldown to come up. Now that I'm a little bit of a higher level, it's a little bit more enjoyable to play, but it's still not my favorite class. It's definitely the, the, the class I've had the least amount of fun on so far of all the ones that I've played. But both the Hunter and the Rogue are now raid level, so just every day I'm logging in to do Mogushan Vaults, a daily dungeon, and then... At this point, I'm kind of at a point where I think I can get at least two level 70s per week. So what I might do this week is spend some time just leveling all of my alts to 25, and then however many I can per day, just run them through Mogushan Vaults on normal, and then if I can also do a daily dungeon for them as well. But it's kind of funny, because I was thinking this week that I've I've never liked leveling, and just the thought of leveling alts has always been like, just this one giant groan. I actually found myself this week thinking, I kind of want to make an alt for every spec in the game, which just blows my mind, considering, like, if you asked me before Mop Remix even started, do you want to level and alt, any alt at all, I would have said, no, hell no, and don't ever suggest that again, you idiot. But this is just such an easy and fun way for me to level alts, and I'm just really, really liking it, so we'll see, maybe I'll end up <laughs> maxing out the character limit on my account with just a bunch of Mop Remix characters, so that'd be cool. But let me know what you're doing in Mop Remix, if you're still leveling alts, if you're still pumping bronze into one or more characters. If you finished Mop Remix and you're kind of good with all that, let me know what's going on. I'd love to hear. No mounts this week, but for achievements this week, what I did get was the Emperor Shaohao rep to Exalted in Mop Remix. This, of course, came on Wednesday after they buffed the experience bonus by 700%. 
I'm so glad I didn't spend too much time farming this beforehand. I think I started at like friendly or honored or something like that. And then in about an hour, I got to exalted. I just put on Clone Wars on another monitor and started watching that and then just kind of farmed. Glad that that's over with. And with that achievement, I'm now completely done mop remix achievements. I got all the ones in the remix tab as well as the feat of strength for Siege of Orgrimmar. So I am achievement wise completely done there. In other wild news on retail, I just did the regular stuff like world quests and mountains, nothing special there. On Friday, I posted the War Within beta video that I was talking about the last couple weeks, which is just going over all the achievements coming out with this expansion. But that's pretty much it. It's a small update this week. I have been noticing that I've been kind of more interested in playing retail lately. I think now that I'm winding down in MOP, I'm more interested in spending time there and progressing my warrior a little bit again. So I might this week spend some time there. I might maybe do a Mythic Plus or two. We'll see. I, I say that now, but it might just be I just spend the entire week playing MOP, so who knows? But I definitely think retail is coming back on the menu sometime soon. I'm having an absolute blast still. My goal, like I said, is to get as many alts as I can leveled up. Will I ever play these alts in the future? I don't no, probably not, to be honest, because leveling all of these from 70 to 80 is going to suck, but having the option to, if I wanted to, is going to be great. So whether it's Mop Remix or Classic or Retail or anything else going on in the game, let me know what you're doing, where you're focusing your time, what you like, what you don't like. Let me know what's going on in your life. Summer's coming up or it already has started for a lot of the younger kids, and if you're a parent or if you yourself are a younger kid now on summer, what's going on? What do you got planned? I myself am probably not doing a whole lot, probably going to an amusement park later in the summer, and maybe a couple of events around town that I'm uh, kind of looking forward to, to be honest. I've had a really, really big craving for Doritos nachos this week, and so I might make them this weekend. I think base level we're going to do like the regular Doritos, but we might spice it up a bit with some cool ranch with my mouth is watering, oh my god, <laughs> and some uh, of the uh, sweet chili heat and maybe something else. I don't know, but uh, I, I am stoked for that. I really, really, really want nachos, specifically the, the uh, Doritos nachos, so I am, I I'm probably going to make that this weekend. If you like my videos and you haven't yet subscribed, if you could at least consider it, that would be great. I really, really, really would like to get the 100,000 subscriber plaque, which I've talked about for a while now. I'm a pretty far ways off, but every little bit helps, so if you could, that'd be great. If not, I still love you. Thanks for watching. I hope this upcoming week is fantastic, and I will talk at you next Tuesday. See ya!